put that in your video. Or else I'm just hurting you. I'm gonna show that I actually lost the point. With a huge commercial and critical success of the Slinko Hyper-G and the Slinko Confidential, it seems like the bigger string manufacturers like Yonix are trying to get in on the hype train with shape co-polyesters. And yes, I know the Yonix Polytour Spin G is five-sided and the Slinko strings I mentioned are four-sided, but hey, you know what? It's close enough. This five-sided polyester from Yonix comes in anywhere between $15 to $16.50 per packet. And although I can't find reels anywhere online, it would probably be safe to say that a reel, a full reel, would be anywhere between $240 and $280 if I were to just guess it right off the top of my head. Anywho, let's see how it does on court. This string was surprisingly comfortable for a five-sided copoly. Usually, when I think of a shaped copoly that has six sides or less, there is usually a break-in period of at least 15 minutes. But I'm glad to report that there were no break-in period at all for this string. Also, the slightly off-center hits were not jarring at all. The ground stroke slices for this string were damn good. The ball was predictable and plush for a poly off the string bed when getting under the ball, whether on the run or attempting an aggressive slice. And after crossing the net tape, the ball definitely did not sit up for your opponent for an easy aggressive shot. The ball stayed well below the level of the net to force your opponent to hit a loopier ball to get back into position. The flatter ground strokes from the baseline and no man's land were pretty decent as well. I didn't feel nearly as confident on the flat shots as I would with a round Copali or the tier one Black Knight, which by the way, the Tier 1 Black Knight is my string of choice for competition. I will leave a link to that tennis string video in this corner if you guys haven't checked it out already. But the flat shots from the Yonix Polytour Spin G was not unpredictable. As for the top spin, it was just average. Just absolutely average. I personally think I got more spin potential from other shaped polys like the Selenko strings I previously mentioned in this video and other non-shaped polyesters as well such as the Onyx Polytour Pro or the Technifiber Razor Coat. Also, the consistency off the string bed wasn't the best. There were about five to six times per hitting session where I thought I hit a good forehand. You know, a forehand where I planted my feet and set up for the shot that is supposed to be a heavy loopy ball over the net to dip inside around no man's land. But for some reason, that forehand just sails long. And not just a little long, but literally five feet past the baseline and almost hitting the tarp or the fence on the fly. As I've stated many times, this might be a flaw in my forehand technique because I didn't see this issue with my topspin backhand drive at all. But again, this type of inconsistency of a string bed was not apparent in many other shape cold polyesters I have played on this channel. Speaking of this channel, I wanted to take a moment to thank you today's video sponsor, my YouTube members. A big and warm shout out to Vince, Uncensored, Jonathan, Alex, Brian, Tag, Soyboy, and Cliff for showing their public support for my unbiased thoughts and brutal reviews on tennis equipment. If you guys want to show your support for this channel and want to get free custom emojis you could use on my comment sections and live streams, by the way, I stream every Tuesday, Thursday, Sunday, please click a link down in the section below to show your support if you could afford $2.99 per month. It means a lot to me, so thank you very much. This string was pretty damn good for volleys. Off a defensive block or an aggressive cut, this string felt plush, especially for a shaped co-polyester. The ball dwelled on the string bed more than long enough to get feedback through my arm to know where the ball is exactly going. And it's absolutely no surprise that the touch shots, like the drop shot volleys or short angles, worked as expected for this string. Honestly, this string might not be the best string for volleys in overall net game, but I'm not gonna lie, it didn't have any flaws in the net game either. Similar to the flatter ground strokes, this string felt fantastic for flat serves. 
Although I don't think it gave me any extra oomph or pace behind the ball for flat serves, I don't think it detracted from any pace from it either. However, the second serves were a different story. Unlike my forehand ground strokes, yes, this was at least consistent on the spin serves. However, I really did feel like it lacked pace and spin potential. For a five-sided cold poly, this gave me very unimpressive spin potential for any type of second serve coming from me. Honestly, I get what Yannick is trying to do here. The massive success of the shape polys from Selenka are definitely a hype train and marketing train to ride out and profit off of. There's nothing wrong with that. But I think Yannick pretty much missed the mark on this one. With a Yonix Polytour Spin G being 50% more expensive than Selenko Hyper G, at least in my area, the only positive thing I see for the string is this. For a shape poly, it's pretty comfortable. But the Selenko strings I've reviewed on this channel have much more spin potential, and much more consistent feeling and feedback off the string bed. And to be honest, yes, this string was comfortable, but I didn't feel nearly as connected to the ball, especially on ground strokes, both forehand and backhands, as I did with a much deader string like the Selenko Hyper G. Honestly, I can't recommend this string to any regular consumer out there. But I want to know what you guys think about this. Have you guys tried the Yonex Polytour Spin G before? Did I hit the nail on the head with this review, or did I miss it completely? I would love to know your thoughts down in the comment section below. Follow me on my Instagram to vote on the very next string you want me to review. And as always, happy hitting.